Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is October 4, 2021. Let's talk about stock and option trading ideas for the week of October 4. So with that, we'll leverage TTM trade uh, indicator uh, from John Carter. We'll look at uh, TTM squeeze, what it is, look at a uh, few ideas for buying stock and options. With that, first let's look at uh, market update quickly see how futures are doing and jump into TTM squeeze. So from a futures perspective, we got here S&P 500 future. Looks like we got a down day today as you can see here. Um, it's not too much down but there is a slightly down day today. And as you scan, scan through here, we got um, NASDAQ 100. Again NASDAQ is also having a down day here after a nice up day on Friday. And as you scan through here, we got uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Again, it's also having a down day. Off late, stocks have been showing some negative bias. Trade carefully. And as you look at um, um, Russell 2000 small cap stocks, again, it's also having a lower opening today. And we'll uh, trade carefully. And as you look through here, a bigger bond market here. A bond has to scan through here. Futures is indicating bond is also having a down day here after a nice uh, three days last week. And as you look through here, interest rates are also a little bit down tick here. Uh, that should help stock market a little bit. And then as you look through here, crude oil is having a great day. Again, up, up opening today. Uh, that will be causing some issue around inflation coupled with the supply chain shortages, semiconductor shortage and whatnot. And as you look through here, gold, gold is having a weak day as you can see here, lower opening today. So with that, let's jump in here, go back to our slide here. From it, what is TTM squeeze and wave you might ask. So as you look through here, um, you know, I got multi time frame, which is very important to look at when you, when you talk through TTM squeeze. I got a here one day chart, one day, one year, uh, two year, three day, and five year weekly and I got a 10 year monthly that gives a good perspective even though stock is in a bullish uptrend in one year but if we compare to a longer time frame it tells you stock is nowhere near its all-time high so TTM squeeze indicator tells you you know what there is a, a tight compression of volatility at this time Bollinger Band is within the cultural channel energy has to be released either upside or downside so by looking at a long-term C wave here, uh, you can see whether it's going to be up, it's going to release the energy upside, meaning stock is going to go up or stock is going to go down. So in this scenario, we got a dot here and the dot has formed. We got longer term C wave above zero. That tells you it's going to fire on the bullish side. That's how you read into TTM squeeze here. It's a very simple methodology. You got to look at the red dot here. When the red dot is forming, see where it's the long term C wave. If it is above the zero line here, that means it's a bullish indication. So that's the methodology. And uh, as you practice it, you'll understand it better. So with that, we got a list of stocks uh, that have got a TTM squeeze. So as you look through here, I got TTM squeeze here on the top. So there's a one day squeeze indicator, three day squeeze indicator, a weekly squeeze indicator and a monthly squeeze indicator. So when you see a Y um, in a three day, that means there's a three day squeeze. So with that here, I got list of stocks sorted by high volume to begin with, like Banco BBD here has got a high volume, $35 billion market cap, as you scan through, there is a low IV percentile and there is a monthly squeeze here. So as you scan through this, you know, you got, you know, you got to see, okay, is it a good candidate for me and go from there. Normally, what I would like to focus on is fundamentally good companies with nice sales growth. So what I've done is I've indicated a few companies with nice sales growth here. You know, for example, the one here, AZ. Yes, it's a very low dollar stock. Uh, probably we can skip here for this discussion unless uh, somebody out there, uh, you know, penny trader, they could look at this one here. And you could look at things like Petrobras and uh, it has got a nice uh, sales growth here. And RSI is a little high. When the RSI is high, 
we don't want to play the squeeze game, um, you know, short squeeze type scenario here, TTM squeeze. Instead, we'll look at candidate where RSI is lower. For example, Oracle here. Oracle is a good one here. Oracle has got a nice sales growth. There is a daily squeeze. Um, and uh, RSI is also a little bit lower. You could look at Oracle here and see if it's a, you know, Oracle as you scan through. IV percentile is a little high for me. I would uh, pass on Oracle and look at other candidates. So, uh, you know, BNGO fits the bill here. It's got a nice uh, uh, sales growth and gross margin. And there's a daily squeeze here. And there's also institution buying. So let's look at B and GO and see if it's worth buying at these levels. For that, let's go to Thinkorswim uh, platform here. Look at B and GO and look at a chart here. As you look at B and GO, it's a biotech stock. As you see here, stock is not doing much. Uh, typically, you know, TTM squeeze is used when the stock is uh, in the trading range for a while and now it's planning to change the direction. That's, that will be indicated by TTM squeeze. So if I go back here to TTM squeeze chart here, um, let's pull that up. There you go. All right, so B and GO, there is a daily squeeze. When the daily squeeze is being formed, as you can see here, long term um, A wave is still below zero. If you're a contrarian, you could uh, take this trade um, and stock being very low here, you could buy some stock outright. But according to John Carter, um, you know, because uh, right now the, um, the C wave is below zero, it may not be a good idea. But typically, you know, you could uh, venture into this given it's uh, trying to go up. Uh, if you squint and see here, it may be okay to buy a little bit B and G at these levels, even though uh, it's a not a clear sign of, uh, you know, um, upside move yet. So with that, let's go back here, look at a few more stocks here. Um, as you scan through, we got, uh, let's see, uh, Gilead Sciences um, has got a nice um, sales growth as you see here. There's a um, there's a weekly uh, there's a weekly squeeze here, you know that could be a good one to look at here, and see what what's up with the Gilead Sciences here. Uh, stock has been dropping off late. As we look through here, RSI is low, IV percentile is 45. So you could look at uh, um, GILD and see if it's uh, good to buy at these levels. So GILD, as you see here, there's a squeeze uh, in the weekly chart. And when the squeeze is forming, as you see here, wave is, uh, C wave is trying to go up here, curve up here, slightly positive here. I think it's a good one to initiate a trade. And you could also look at um, a bigger chart quickly. As you scan through the bigger chart here, uh, Gilead Sciences is uh, falling off of late. Um, chart is ugly, as you can see here. Uh, blue line here in the DMI going below red line, red line shooting up. That tells you right now chart is ugly and smart money is also flowing out of the stock and right now it's trying to go in a little bit. So with that, I think uh, coast is clear. We could initiate a trade here given uh, there is a red dot in the uh, weekly chart here and the red dot formed, you know, wave is going up. Looks like there is also a you know, squeeze forming in the daily chart here. Again, A wave is above zero. You could uh, initiate a position here and buy some Gilead Sciences. If you're a stock uh, type person, you could buy stock outright at these levels here. Right now, $68. All time low is $56. All time high is uh, $73. You know, don't expect a huge, huge upside, but it's a good trade. You could uh, buy Gilead Sciences. If you're an options trader, you could uh, go probably say 109 days out and you could buy Delta 70 option. Uh, sometimes right here, this is a good one. You could pay $8.60, uh, buy Delta 70 call option here. Um, and every move the stock makes, your option will go up by 72 cents. 
and confirm and send. Your break even point here is, uh, let's see here, $71, a um, couple dollars above the stock price. Um, if you don't want to uh, play just a single um, leg option, you could do a spread here, stock being at 68. You could uh, probably do, um, say, 65, 75 spread, um, and you could go from there. So 65, 75 spread will put you right here. Um, right here. So you could uh, do this spread here and buy this uh, spread, 65, 75. There you go. So you're paying $4.33. It's a $10 wide spread. Remaining money, it's around $5. And, uh, you know, say uh, 60 plus cents is your profit potential. You're doubling your money. Confirm and send here. You're paying $4.33 to make $5.67. Your break even point is just $1 above the current stock price. So I think it's, uh, you know, for you who don't want to risk too much money and uh, do spreading it's a good strategy here your max profit is capped at 567 here max loss is 433 and break even point is 69 you could uh, confirm and send this this is a good play for um, uh, option uh, spread buyers as you scan through we got a couple more here um, and you could uh, do all these things um, and see here we got uh, um, fisker here looks like there's a um, a uh, monthly squeeze in fiscal that could be a good sign and as you see here rsi is a little high for me i would uh, skip on to this one and probably look at candidates like uh, idex here it's a one dollar 95 cent stock and there is a monthly squeeze and if you look at idex quickly Monthly squeeze, when the squeeze is formed, uh, the C wave is below zero. Um, I would probably skip this guy here. And looks like, okay, let's see here. That's a three-day squeeze here. When that's formed here, um, see, this is also a borderline. So if you are a, you know, if you are a contrarian, you could uh, buy some IDEX given there is a squeeze forming here and the a wave, C wave is trying to curve above zero. You could buy into um, IDEX and uh, go from there. There's no clear signal here. You could uh, venture into and buy some IDEX and be a contrarian. Given there is a nice sales growth um, and gross margin, uh, I think, the, yeah, nice sales growth and gross margin, you could buy into this one here. And let's look at a few more here. We got a few more candidates here. You could apply the same methodology. Look at the candidates where RSI is a little bit lower and also IV percentile is a little bit lower. Those are your candidates and you could initiate the same position here. It looks like there is an ARC, um, you know, Cathy Woods uh, Innovation That's all, that also has a squeeze here. You could buy into Cathy Woods ARKK into the squeeze and play along given there is a low RSI, low IV percentile. Um, and just scan through here some names. Uh, let's see, uh, we got some great companies here. Go EV also showing some um, sign here. You could look at that one too. And we got one more chart here with a few more names. Um, you could look at uh, some of these companies and see if it's worth buying them into this uh, weakness here. So let's look at probably one more here. Clovis Oncology. I know many of you have the stock. As you look through here, there's a one day squeeze, there's a three day squeeze. Let's see what's up with the Clovis here, CLVS. Clovis Oncology, one day squeeze here. Um, looks like a line is, uh, C wave is below zero right now. Three day squeeze, C wave is still below zero. Trying to curve up slowly. And there's a, a weekly squeeze. Again, C wave is below zero. And a monthly squeeze, C wave is below zero. Even here, there is no clear indication. Uh, according to John Carter, it's uh, worth waiting a little bit. But if you're a contrarian, you could buy some Clovis Oncology. Given there is a, you know, there is an indication this curve is uh, curving up here, you could be an early buyer and buy Clovis Oncology. 
So with that in mind, let's uh, go back here. And I think that's our last chart here. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.